This is the Skyline Dome Car from Via Rail Canada. Welcome back to Eat with Oscar, where you and I make memories across Canada one meal at a time. Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about traveling by train in British Columbia. By the end of the video, you will know exactly what to look out for when researching your destinations, how to book a ticket online, and I will share three important tips you must know before boarding a VIA train. If you have ever thought about traveling by train and enjoying the wondrous West Coast landscape without driving yourself, this video is made for you. Make sure you smash that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more travel and food reviews. Before taking a deep dive into the video today, I want to address two questions that I get asked a lot after returning from my trip. Why don't you just fly or drive? And is the trip expensive? Well, I travel by train this time because A, I've never been to Prince Rupert. Did you know they actually make the best halibut burger in the province? Click the link below to check out my review. And B, traveling across Canada by train has long been on my bucket list. So, this is a good start. Is it expensive? The fare of the two-day train ride costs $130 after all the taxes and applicable discounts. Without further ado, let's have a look at the train we sat in. The car we sat in was built by Butt Car Company and AMF sometime during the mid-50s. In the 1978, Via Rail acquired 33 units of various stainless steel cars from the company, and 16 of which were the Skyline Dome cars. The word Skyline comes from Skyline Trail Hikers of the Canadian Rockies, a group of amateur mountaineers who traveled to the peaks of the Rockies in 1933. As you can see from the video, the interior consists of 24 seats with a panoramic sunroof that allows natural sunlight into the cabin. The dome does not only enhance the exterior appearance of the train, you also feel less claustrophobic sitting inside the car when the sky above and surroundings are visible. During the two-day train ride from Jasper, Alberta to Prince Rupert, British Columbia, we felt an enhanced sense of openness and freedom while dazzled by the rocky coastlines, lakes, and mountains. In case you wonder, windows in a dome car are multi-layer laminated glass composed of synthetic materials that can resist an impact 20 times greater than that of a car windshield. Via Rail also did a good job removing any potentially hazardous objects, both inside and outside of the train to ensure their passengers' safety. The journey between Jasper and Prince Rupert covers 1160 kilometers between the North Pacific Coast and the Rockies on the Grand Trunk Pacific Railway. Wow! That's the same distance of traveling around the entire Taiwan one and a half times, or Seattle to San Francisco, or New York to Charleston, South Carolina. You get it. It's long. The whole trip took approximately 20 hours with an overnight stop in Prince George. Since sleeping cars are only available for the Great Western Way, the Maritimes Way, and the Adventure Routes, travelers are responsible for accommodation and transport while staying the night in Prince George. You are allowed to bring one personal item and luggage with you. The train offers economy class and twice a week in the summer, touring class service. Touring class service provides exclusive access to the panoramic dome car and the park car. When touring class is available, economy class passengers are restricted from the dome cars. However, we travel in the first week of October where the touring class service was not available. Staff welcome all 20 passengers to stay in the panoramic dome car throughout the journey. I use my BCA card to receive a 10% discount. If you are Canadian military personnel and their families, student under the age of 25, or alumni parents who are over 60, you also get a reduced rate as well. As a commitment to the Indigenous peoples, Via Rail offers a 33% discount to Indigenous communities across the country. Let's take a look at how to book your ticket online. In this tutorial, I will show you exactly where to find the map Via Rail is operating, how to book a ticket online, where to find their timetable. As easy as it sounds, it's actually a lot more complicated than you think. First thing first, you want to know where Via Rail is actually operating. So you go to Google, type in Via Rail route, all routes, and click on the first one, explore our train journeys. So now you know the big stops that Via Rail is currently running and you can choose how you want to plan your trip. 
Then the next step is to find out the timetable. So if you type in Via Rail on Google, there are a number of options to select from. I spend a lot of time trying to find a schedule by clicking plan your trip and arrivals and departure schedule. The problem by clicking this is that it shows you the departure information but doesn't prompt any possible route of coming back unless you're doing a one-way trip, so from one city to another, without considering taking a train back to the original city, then this would work perfectly for you. Once you're on this page, type in the city's name that you want to depart from and the destination. In our case, that would be Prince Rupert. Since we don't know exactly which day the train is actually running, we'll just start with today's date. So as you can see, there is no train currently running today. The next available date is actually Sunday, October 31st. If you're only traveling one way, you can go ahead and click the Buy Now button to complete the order field in your information and purchase the ticket. Just a reminder, you are crossing two different time zones. Always remember to adjust your time if you're traveling across two provinces. Now, this only allows you to buy a one-way ticket. If you're planning to take a train back to your original destination, what you have to do is click on multi-city. So let's say we're traveling round trip, select October 31st. We can leave any time with one passenger. We don't know when the return day would be. Let's just do one day apart and search. It shows you the train that is currently running from Jasper to Prince Rupert. For this route, only economy class is offered. Escape fare, economy, and economy plus. So if you select escape fare, you can tap continue. It will automatically prompt the next available train returning back to Jasper. And it will be the same thing. You can choose between all three different fares. And this is where you can review your itinerary, fare, and baggage allowance. Always read the warning sign as it often includes important information for you to review. For instance, the route between Jasper and Prince Rupert includes an overnight stop in Prince George where you're responsible for finding your own accommodation. So this is something really important to look out for. Last but not least, I want to share three tips with you if you have never taken the Via Rail train in British Columbia. First, always leave extra time. Via Rail operates over 500 trains per week across eight Canadian provinces, 97% of which is owned and maintained by other railway companies, mostly by the Canadian National Railway, which also happens to be the largest freight railway in Canada. As you can imagine, when a freight rail carrier is coming our way and there's only one track to pass, one of us has to wait. I think we waited three to four times for a freight train to pass. One time, we even waited as long as 30 minutes. Second, bring your own food. Because of COVID, hot food was not available during our trip. You can purchase beer and wine, non-alcoholic drinks, light sandwiches, and snacks, but that's pretty much it. Third, make sure you preload your electronics with games, movies, or reading materials before onboarding. There are plugs in every seat to charge your smartphone and laptop, but trains do not have onboard Wi-Fi, and the cell phone service is spotty along the way. In the end, over a thousand kilometers of track connects the Rocky Mountains in Alberta to the Northwest Pacific Coast in British Columbia. We travel through 46 stations and past countless lakes, rivers, and mountains along the way. We even saw a bear running along the river, abandoned settlements and sawmills, lush farmland, and many rural communities. The whole experience was just super enjoyable. I would highly recommend you to experience the same route at least once in your lifetime. I hope you get some value out of this video. Make sure you smash that like button, share the video to whom it benefits, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye!